And while my esteemed colleague from Jamaica would have been instructed in his speech by his female colleague here, I have been instructed from the household in which I reside. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to get my wife excited about things political. But having just reported to her that I met you in the bilateral a moment ago, she was excited to know that that happened. And she cautioned me and hoped that I conducted myself in a manner worthy of your presence. <laughs> so on that basis, I have to be very careful how I choose my interaction with you. And I want to begin by, on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago and our region, uh, to continue the welcome that you represent to us here in Chile, in, in, in the Caribbean, a uh, great hope of the realization of the fact that we have a lot of common interests which can be explored for the mutual benefit of our countries. As you may know, Trinidad and Tobago views itself in some ways as a South American country. Geographically and geologically, we are South American. And our well-being, uh, our wellspring of good fortune stems from that geological expression. And today, Trinidad and Tobago trades with Chile in products uh, which are of an international market nature. And your presence here today, following from the discussions we've had in our bilateral, afford us the opportunity to hold out great hope that the high esteem with which Chile is held in the international community, and your personal high esteem among leaders and diplomats in the region and the world can work to the benefit of CARICOM and its people and to the advancement of the interests of our Caribbean region and Chile. And we trust that your visit here is symbolic of the fact that Chile recognizes the Caribbean, CARICOM in particular, as a neighbor, a unit, and that you see yourself as a big sister in a family of nations. Because in my household, I'm a, I'm a minority of one in a household of four, led by three women. And there's no chance that I could be other than a great supporter of the advancement of women, and you are an exemplar to not only my children and my wife, but to our region. So we welcome you here, and we look forward to realization of the promise of our mutual cooperation. Thank you.